Hey, this is AJ. Welcome back to the Handyman Process. Uh, I just got back from a walk, and as, as, out, as I was out walking, I realized I've been doing YouTube now for just about a year. I think I started a year ago. Uh, I scrolled back, looked at my first video, which was kind of terrible, and some of my other videos after that, that uh, you know, I've kind of evolved and I've grown a little bit over the time. Uh, so first of all, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been tuning in and sending me messages. I get a lot of messages from different folks uh, thanking me, asking me for advice. Uh, so it's really, really cool because uh, the main reason I, I have a YouTube channel is to give back, right? I've been a, a consumer of YouTube content for forever, uh, probably like a lot of you guys watching this. Um, and I felt like, okay, well, now it's my turn to kind of give my spin and my take on things. So I thought I would... Uh, kind of talk about what my next year of my videos is going to look like, or at least what I'm, I'm planning for it to look like, um, and kind of get your thoughts, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments below or, or with likes if you think I'm on the right track or if there's other types of things you want me to dig into, let me know. I'm um, sitting here in my backyard. If you don't know, I do a lot of gardening. I actually have another YouTube channel called San Antonio Gardening. It's just focused on kind of all the gardening stuff I, I do here in my backyard. But this is kind of my hobby, right? When I'm not doing other things, I'm in the back here and growing stuff and, and doing whatever I'm doing uh, back here. But anyway, let's talk about my plans for, for next year. So um, I like to watch the trends, right? I like to watch what are what are handy men and handy women interested in, what kind of questions are they asking, what other kind of content is coming out there. And I see the, um, the same kind of repeated trends kind of over and over again. Uh, and there are certain topics that I don't get into. I don't get into like scaling your business to to, to explode and have multiple um, employees working for you because that's not where I'm going. And I, I don't want to give advice on that because it's just it's outside of my lane. I could talk about it from an academic perspective, but from a practical perspective, uh, I have no dog in that fight, so I don't I don't talk about that stuff. So who I do talk to is I talk to. Uh, one man, maybe two man family operations that are planning to do this as their main job, right? Because if you're in that boat, technically you're a business owner, but you're really a self-employed person. And that's how I consider myself. Even though I have a business license and, and all that stuff, I'm a self-employed handyman. And if I were to leave tomorrow and sell this business, there's not a whole lot in it, right? Uh, unless I scale up and, and do other things. But uh, that's kind of the, the first thing is understanding that you know, if you're in my kind of boat, you're not truly a business owner, right? You you have a job, you're self-employed, and for a lot of people, and for me, that's that's really all I want. So I don't I don't really complain about that. But uh, the questions that I hear over and over in this area are really the gamut that you go through from, hey, I want to start a business. What's the first step, right? Um, so in my opinion, the first step is probably getting insurance uh, because you can you can get insurance, you can cancel it any time, but you know you want to cover. Um, kind of the what ifs, the you know things kind of go bad. I, I always say that's the number one thing. Go out and get insurance. You don't, you don't need a business structure. You don't need to be an S corp or an LLC or any of that stuff. In fact, looking back on it now, I, I probably would have just stayed a sole proprietor. There's no real reason for me to become uh, an LLC, especially with the kind of work that I'm doing. The chances of me damaging somebody's house are are pretty small. Plus, I got some liability insurance with the other stuff. So, um, but what I'm thinking going forward is kind of walking from the beginning all the way to the end kind of over the basic steps right what are the first things that you do what steps do you do if i want to become an uh, llc or i want to become a sole proprietor how do i do that why do i do that what are some of the basic things i need to put in place what is an ein number from the irs all these like little nitnoid things there's tons of videos out there and i made some in the past too but they're quite frankly they weren't very good right so now that i've been doing youtube for a little while i'll probably dig a little further into that uh, so we'll start off with that kind of basic stuff and then we'll start to get into the business. Okay, how do I, um, and you've heard me say this before, if you've been watching this channel, if you're not handy, get handy, right? And don't get handy practicing on other people's houses unless you tell them I've never done this before. This, these are the things that I have done. If you're willing to give me a shot, I can go ahead and give it a shot. But don't be afraid to be like, hey, listen, it's, I can't do this, right? And do that before you rip something apart. Uh, so if you don't got skills, go work somewhere get some skills, build up that skill so you have the comfort. Assuming you already have that, like what's next, right? Well, the next thing is, is, is finding work, right? How do I, how do I find work? Um, so I'll, I'll make some videos on basic marketing stuff. I'll touch up on some of the videos that I've made in the past. Uh, and then we'll get into the, the basic mechanics. Um, and the order may be a little bit different here because you really want to have systems in place before you start bringing on work or like at least modified systems. So the first thing I'll talk about 
and I've talked about extensively in the, on the channel here is, is banking and bookkeeping, right? How are you gonna manage your money? You gotta manage it separately. How are you gonna manage it? What kind of bookkeeping are you gonna do? I recommend that people start off at least doing this themselves. You know, you can outsource it down the road if you don't like it. I personally like doing it. That's why I don't outsource mine. But getting your, your arms around the money coming in, the money going out, getting an, an understanding of flow of that, and then basic bookkeeping associated with that. Uh, then we'll dive a little further into some more of the marketing, setting up a Facebook page, setting up a Google My Business, setting up your um, your website, a Nextdoor account, Yelp. I don't really get into Angie's List or any of that other paid stuff. There's plenty of other people who do that. I, um, I just don't like them, so I don't, <laughs> I don't get into that. Uh, so I'll, I'll dive a little further into that. Then we'll talk about um, systems for day-to-day -day operation, right? Having a customer relation management system. How am I going to talk to people? How are jobs going to come in? How am I going to communicate back with them? How am I going to go from the inquiry or the inquiry over to uh, the estimate, over to a work order, scheduling a work order, invoicing, getting paid, and then repeating the cycle? Because that's what we're doing, right? We're we're constantly in that cycle. If somebody asks us for something, we tell them how much it's going to cost. They hire us. We do it. We do it well, we get paid, and we repeat over and over and over again. And the more people you have in that loop and the kinds of jobs that you're doing, you're, the, the amount of money that it makes uh, increases. So it's really important to have a nice system in place that works for you. Uh, there's tons of systems out there, but one that you understand that works for you and will work in your business. So we'll talk about the CRM stuff, the importance of that. Then we'll talk about the ancillary things, the supporting systems that are underneath that as well, that kind of hold everything else up, right? So if you have a good CRM system, some of the ancillary stuff that may be holding it up, we talked a little bit about the banking system. Maybe you have you accept credit cards, so you have a square integration that is underlying your system that, that kind of connects in, it's where the money comes through. Uh, you're probably gonna track mileage somehow, so how are you gonna track mileage? Um, all these little systems are supporting that baseline process, right? That inquiry all the way to invoice. If you have these foundational systems in place, it just becomes part of your daily or weekly flow of, of kind of running through those things. Uh, and then the final thing I'll, I'll kind of talk about is, is schedule management, taking time off. Um, it's one of the great things ab about this kind of work is you can work as much or as little as you want. And uh, I've had a lot of family visiting in the last couple, uh, in-laws visiting the last couple of weeks and a bunch of things going on with the kids. And I hardly worked, right? I didn't schedule anything and it was awesome. <laughs> I loved it. I did a few jobs, I think, on Friday and I got a few more coming up. But I uh, haven't been working a whole lot lately because I don't have to and I don't want to. And that's one of the perks and benefits of this business, right? The downside is I didn't make any money in that job, but I got a day job. So it's, it all kind of evens out in the end. Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, I think kind of going forward, I'll probably start pumping some more videos out here over the next couple of weeks or so. Um, I, try to, I try to do one a week if I can. Sometimes I'm you know, pretty good with it. Sometimes I'm, I'm pretty bad. But that's my plan. I plan to pump that kind of stuff out. So if that sounds good to you or you want to see something else, other topics that I didn't just mention, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I'll just add them into my queue. Or if you want me to deep dive into something I've already deep dived into, I'll go ahead and do that as well. Anyway. I really appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. It's incredible to watch you know, my channel grow from, from my wife being my first subscriber to, uh, to I think I'm over 1400 right now, which is like just blows my mind, right? Which is uh, uh, really, really cool. Anyway, thank you for your time. I appreciate it and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.